I can't imagine a more useless book. Hey kids, it's Anglantine, and this is Generations, the Jean Grey version, and it's there's nothing to it. I wish, I, I gotta tell you, I am biased against these books, because when I bought this, I was like, alright, it's gonna be horrible, I'm gonna get to tear it apart, it's going to be, I'm not gonna spend a lot of time on this, because they didn't care, I don't care. I mean, you could see it in the writing. So we get the Jean Grey. This is all the, in the preview before, you know, where she sees her on the beach. And it's like, oh, my gosh, and there's the phoenix. And I got to ask her about the phoenix. And it just proves what I've said in the previous videos. There's one story to tell with the phoenix. And they're telling it in the Jean Grey book. Phoenix or, or Jean Grey, whatever. Phoenix comes. She gets powerful. She dies. And in this one, the two characters meet. And it's all about, oh, should I tell her about the Phoenix? Oh my gosh, and she's, she's there. She thinks the X-Men's dead. Should I be... And it's all on young Jean Grey's part to the point where it just seems like uh, older Jean Grey is dismissing this entire thing. She is so nonchalant about meeting her younger self. It's almost like, yeah, well, follow me. You're a nuisance. What are you going to do? We, what, we're going to hang out? I mean, literally... There's hardly any real personal interaction here. At least in the Amadeus Cho Hulk version, there was some sort of lesson to be learned between the two heroes, but there's none of that. At best, it's, well, Jean Grey, the, the older Jean Grey doesn't seem to give a sh so why should I give a sh You know, that kind of thing. But otherwise, I mean, there's literally nothing to this story. There's, there's no reason for it to exist. This actually angers me more than an, a, a bad book. At least a bad book tries. I mean, Nick Spencer wanted to tell a political story, and he made a suckville. But right up to the moment where he barfed up the solution, he tried to get his politics out there. This is nothing. And to me, that's more offensive than any. Oh, wait, maybe their whole uh, thing was to show exactly how bad Galactus can be. Can we stop using him as a character He's supposed to be uh, an entity. He's supposed to be a cosmic force, and I don't even think they understand what that should mean anymore. And in this case, young Jean Grey punches Galactus and knocks him down. Hey, guys, from now on, there is nothing that Jean, young Jean Grey can't handle. She just punched in Galactus and knocked him down. I mean, seriously, they have managed to ruin the character in one free it fell swoop just that's it there is now no, it's like there's no problem in the marvel universe you just go to barf oh we need this here you go time stone and it's the same way with this character once you punch galactus and knock him down who on earth is going to give you a problem none and i think that's just been a problem I mean, this this book is a big flat line i wish it was better or i wish it was worse I wish it was something other than a book that you read and absolutely get nothing out of. But that's just my opinion. What's yours? Did you read this piece of crap? I wish it was a piece of crap. I wish it was anything. Did you read it? What did you think? Do you like it? Do you hate it? Or like me, do you just think, wow, they just did not try? Let me know in the comments below. Also, if you like this video, you want to see more, click like, share, subscribe if you haven't done that already. And don't forget to hit that notification bell so you don't miss anything else. Also, please go head on over to the Patreon page or VidMe. Drop a dollar in the till. Help us keep this train rolling and help us keep the lights on. We definitely appreciate it. And we do thank everybody who's already done that. And we want to thank everybody who will do that. And more importantly, thank you very, very much for watching.